Hello students today we will be seeing about the topic battle of buxar as we have already studied british uh, projected mir jafar as an inefficient ruler and they made his nephew mir qasim as a new nawab that we have already studied so now mir qasim was an efficient administrator he was an efficient administrator and he remained loyal to the company because he was appointed by the company so he remained very loyal to the company he paid 2 lakh pounds to the company and also gave them few places because already the company had asked him uh, to pay an amount of money because mir um, mir jafar has conquered their fort uh, attacked the fort so because of that mir qasim he paid 2 lakh pounds to the company and also gave a few places to them but later he declared himself as an independent ruler after that mir qasim started further making plans and india started competing against british in all spheres of business so naturally the british will not like it the british wanted mir qasim to be under them submissive to them but mir qasim declared himself as independent ruler and indian states started competing against british in all spheres of business this made the british oppose against the nawab so till then mir qasim was efficient and loyal to the company but once he declared himself independent the british started opposing the nawab they again brought back mir jafar to power because they were now not liking mir qasim they again brought back mir jafar to power as mir qasim already knew about the technique of british he did not immediately go to fight against them he went for an organized war against them he started planning first and then he wanted to fight against the british so as mir qasim already knew about the technique of british he went for an organized war against them Mir Qasim got the support of Indian merchants and artisans so as he knew the british technique he also started to use the same technique against them he started organizing people on his side so he got support of indian merchants and artisans he also entered into an agreement with mughal ruler shah alam ii and nawab of awadh shuja ud daula so mir qasim was an efficient administrator he remained lo loyal to the company and he paid 2 lakh pounds and some places to the company after that he declared himself as independent ruler and india started competing against british in all spheres of business this made the british oppose the nawab and they brought back mir jafar to power mir qasim as he very well knew about the technique of british he went for an organized war so he started planning he got the support of indian merchants and artisans and he also entered an agreement with mughal ruler shah alam ii and nawab of awadh shuja ud daula the combined forces faced the british army at buxar in 1764 so mir um, mir qasim together with uh, uh, mughal ruler shah alam ii nawab of awadh shuja ud daula and uh, in some indian merchants and artisans all of them together this combined force faced the british army at buxar in 1764 british army was led by hector munro mir qasim even though he was well planned he was defeated and he had to run away from the battlefield shah alam ii further had to surrender to the british so the combined forces uh, faced the british army at buxar in 1764 British army was led by Hector Munro Mir Qasim was defeated and he fled from the battlefield Shah Alam II also had to surrender Now what were the outcome what were the results of the battle of Buxar The first one was Shah Alam II gave the diwani rights over Bengal to British He did not have any other option so Shah Alam II gave the diwani rights over Bengal to the British He also gave all rights over Bengal to British for an annual fee of rupees 26 lakhs. Shah Alam II gave all the rights over Bengal to the British for an annual fee of 26 lakhs. The Nawab of Awadh had to give a fine of rupees 
ఫిఫ్టీ ల్యాక్స్ ఫర్ ఫైటింగ్ అగెయిన్స్ట్ ది బ్రిటిష్ సో షా అలం సరెండర్డ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ టు ది బ్రిటిష్ నవాబ్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ హ్యాడ్ టు గివ్ అ ఫైన్ ఆఫ్ ఫిఫ్టీ ల్యాక్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ ది డెత్ ఆఫ్ మీర్ జాఫర్ ది కంపెనీ పేడ్ పెన్షన్ టు హిస్ సన్ అండ్ టుక్ ఓవర్ ది ఎంటైర్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ ఆఫ్ బెంగాల్ సో ఫైనలీ ఆఫ్టర్ డెత్ ఆఫ్ మీర్ జాఫర్ కంపెనీ పేడ్ అ పెన్షన్ టు హిస్ సన్ అండ్ ఎంటైర్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ ఆఫ్ బెంగాల్ వాజ్ టేకన్ ఓవర్ బై దెమ్ సో దీస్ వర్ ది అవుట్కమ్స్ ఆర్ రిజల్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ది బ్యాటిల్ ఆఫ్ బక్సర్ The Battle of Baksar made the British as a real power over Bihar, Bengal and Orissa provinces. So we can understand that the British were slowly attaining control over Bihar, Bengal and Orissa provinces. Robert Clive, he brought in dual government concept in 1765. So what is dual government concept? According to this, British had the rights to collect land taxes and the Nawab had the power over administrative issues. That is, the power is divided among the British and the Nawab. British had the rights to collect land taxes and Nawab had the power over administrative issues. Thus, the British gained political control over almost all parts of India. So, that is a conclusion. The Battle of Baksar made the British as real power over Bihar, Bengal and Orissa province. Robert Clive brought in dual government concept in 1765. According to this, British had the rights to collect land revenue and Nawab had the power over administrative issues. And thus, British gained political control over Bihar. india so that is what we learned today battle of baksa its causes its outcome and finally how the british gained control over india i hope you have understood the causes and results very clearly please go through the video again if you like the video please do subscribe my channel and share it with your friends thank you for watching hope to see you soon in the next video